Hey everybody, I'm going to ask you to indulge me a little bit today because I'm going to go off the script, uh, talk about something I don't normally talk about because I saw an extraordinary film last night called Sound of Freedom. It stars James Caviezel, Mira Servino, Bill Camp, and a host of other talented actors and actresses that tell the true story of Tim Ballard, a retired Homeland Security agent who disrupts a child trafficking ring in Colombia that led to saving 150 children. But at its essence, it's so much more than that, because what it does is it shines a light on this horrific epidemic that exists in the world today. Child trafficking is a $150 billion a year industry. That is more than the revenues of the National Football League, Major League Baseball, the National Hockey League, and the NBA combined. Furthermore, it has now surpassed illegal arms sales as the most lucrative illegal activity in the world today. And finally, there are 350,000 children that go missing in the United States every single year. A third of those, over 100,000, are directly related to child trafficking rings. This is not a political issue. It's not a political movie. I don't care if you're a Democrat or a Republican. It's not a religious movie. Do they say the word God? Yes, but it isn't a religious movie. It's about one thing and one thing only, and that is protecting the most precious commodity in the world today, and that is our children. And the only way we can do that is to talk about it, to raise awareness, and to put the idea of child trafficking in people's consciousness. We can't do it alone. We have to work together as citizens, of the country and of the world. So I ask you, go see Sound of Freedom, and when you're done, talk about it with your friends and family, and especially your children, and let them know the dangers that are out there. And let's have each other's back, and let's protect our kids. Thanks, everyone.